when Krishna was six days old in Braj, Kans was unable to overcome the fear of what had happened. So he made plans for killing that little child who had been born. Only problem was he didn't know who that child was. So he called one of his dasis, a demoness called Putana, and said, you do one thing. You go to Braj and kill all the children who were born in the last one month. That will include Brahma who has taken avatar as well. So Putana went. She had Rakshasi Maya, her own personal little power. With the help of that, she made herself extremely beautiful. And she went to Braj. Her intention was that she'd start killing all the children. However, Sri Krishna, sitting in the house of Nanda and Yashoda, understood that somebody is coming with evil intent because he is also in the heart of Putana. So he inspired her such, he turned the key that this implementation of the killing scheme, she started from the house of Nanda and Yashoda. In other words, she reached directly there. Now Nanda at that time was not at home. He had gone off to Mathura to pay his yearly tax. All the little chieftains used to pay their tax to Maharaj Kans of Mathura. And subsequently from there he had gone to meet Vasudev. Out here when Putna reached, Krishna was in the Palna, in the cot. A few of the Sakhis were there and Yashoda was also by the side when they saw Putana coming. And they wondered, who is this beautiful lady? Is it Indrani or Rudrani or Brahmani? For a moment, they were overwhelmed by the apparent beauty of Putana. And Putana, what she had done was, she had applied intense poison to her breast. So she reached there without taking anybody's permission, she lifted Krishna. And again without taking anybody's permission, she took her breast and put it in Krishna's mouth. So when that happened, the Bhagavad says, Krishna closed his eyes. Now, why did he close his eyes? Shukadev has not mentioned. So, the Acharyas, the commentators on the Bhagavat have given their own views. Vallabhacharya has written something, Sridharacharya has written something. Somebody says that Krishna closed his eyes to think, uh, this process of killing demons begins with the woman, how terrible. Somebody says that Krishna closed his eyes because Putana is the form of avidya or ignorance. If I keep my eyes open, then ignorance cannot remain. So for the Leela to proceed, it's necessary to close my eyes. Some say that Krishna closed his eyes to think that what punya or good deeds has she done in her past life if there is something then I can utilize that to bestow grace upon her. So Kripaluji Maharaj says that Krishna closed his eyes and thought, Shankarji, you please come. Because there is poison out here. Now you have the habit, you can take the poison, right? 
you took the kalkut at the time of the churning of the ocean and kept it in your throat there is poison here you please drink this after that is the milk i have come for milk and butter i will drink that krishna closed his eyes and with his fingers he pressed the breast so tight that putana screamed sa muncha munchalamite prabhashini nishpidya mana khil jeeva varvani vivritya netre charanau bhujau muhu prasvin gatra kshipati rurodha chode chode leave leave she is screaming and the pain made her come back to her original ugly and demoniac form and she grew extremely big and she started flying in the sky so all the gopis around they all became startled and started running putana was flying in the sky and krishna was still on her breast and he still drinking the milk not letting go and alongside with that he pulled her life airs so she went and fell over a whole lot of trees in a garden the gopis yashoda came running they took krishna away from there now they thought some demoness has attacked him we need to protect him in accordance with their beliefs they sprinkled cow urine upon him and took the cow's tail and put it on his face etc to ward off any evil eyes and then what to do with putana's huge body they had to finish it off the the trees that had been felled because of putana's falling on the ground they created arthis or funeral pyres out of it and taking axes they started chopping off the body and burnt it over many funeral pyres out there nand was meeting vasudev vasudev said to nand baba that i fear from kans some calamity may befall your braj don't wait here for too long please go so nand started returning when the body of putana was being burnt so when the body burnt because god had touched it very aromatic smell spread through the whole of braj and nand baba when while returning smelt it and thought what is the matter is there some worship being do, done with incense agarbatti he didn't realize it was the body of a demoness but this happened on the 6th day of shri krishna's birth in continuance of that tradition the festival of chhati is observed on the 6th day of the child's birth